So the idea of the altar is to get and to be able to access the power that the spirit being has and to propel that power for good. Okay? To propel that power for good. Now the Bible says, You shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to make wealth. To make wealth. It means that Jehovah has, and meanwhile, the Bible also says that the blessings of the Lord, it maketh rich, and it added no sorrow to it. The reason why it adds no sorrow is because the Holy Ghost is the original spirit that is designed to make us wealthy. See, if you, if you access a wrong spirit to make you wealthy, it may be able to make you wealthy, but it will add its own, its own, native, its own native signature will be added on your life. Are you there? If it's originally a spirit of barrenness, a fertility spirit, it will impart barrenness and bless you with barrenness in addition to what you sought from it. But the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord, it makes rich and it adds no sorrow. So, the man that is into business, the man that is into politics, the man that is into ministry, the man that wants to ascend in his career, must know how to set up an altar in his business, set up an altar as the heart of his political endeavor, set up an altar in that area of endeavor in order to channel the power of God and to use the power of God as the driving force of that establishment. Now, so what happened to Obededon was that the ark was deposited in his compound for custody. They did not tell him how to relate with the act. They did not tell him how to function with the act. In fact, he was not educated. Everyone, everyone wanted to leave the scene of the death of Uza and go as far as possible. He did not have a choice in the matter. If not, he would have requested that the act should not be deposited in his compound. Now that it was a royal decree that was responsible for positioning the act in his compound, he now realized that, okay, I can as well benefit from it. So I, I told you that the dialect of, of, of priesthood, the dialect of that spirits can understand is the dialect of sacrifice. So I can imagine that this guy, Obed Edom, sacrificed to the ark. And he began to honor the presence of God. He began to honor the presence of God. And he was doing it regularly. And then the effect of what he was doing began to affect every aspect of everything that he did. Now, I have a friend in Abuja, and this, my friend, decided to start a fellowship in his office. He's the MD of his office, and his office is in a very business side of Abuja. It's in that, uh, it's a business side. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, there are no residential buildings close to the area because it's fully a business uh, estate. So he set up a fellowship in his office. So no matter the business you want to bring to the office, forget about it. If it's a Friday and it's um, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., forget about that business. In fact, he went as far as importing equipment from the U United States of America to make the worship experience very fluid. The sound is powerful. So anytime I find myself in Abuja, on Friday morning, I hop into that place. And, and I, I tell him, I'm not coming here to preach, so don't even look at me. Because they do some, some very powerful prayers from that, you know, so I just soak myself. And he has some worshippers. I don't know where he got those, those people from. When they begin to sing, it's something else. So it is easy for me to inquire of the Lord, the things that I'm asking God about. It's easy for me to get a feedback on that, that atmosphere. So I cherish that fellowship so much anytime I'm in Abuja. So we hop into the place, and I hide by one corner, and I just enjoy the worship. I enjoy the prayers, and I get answers for myself. All right? So, and that's all. I don't want to do anything. And I told him, I don't want to do anything. You know, I just, I just, I just enjoy. Then we now started noticing something. Because in that company, part of what they do is that they give out loans, and then they re recover the loans with an interest. Okay? Then this occultic woman now shows up. And he collected the loan 
without any intention to pay. And the reason for which she had the audacity to do that was because she was in league with several demonic altars that were very potent. So they went to court. And the lady has a relationship with the judges. And you know how terrible it can be. Do you know that that, my friend, was the only man that lady could not defeat? The altar they have been praying on, worshiping on in that office, the presence of the Lord that they revered on that, in the platform of that office, went to, I saw it with my eyes. Terrible woman. The presence of God that they've been acknowledging in that office arose and I saw the hand of God in court. And this altar brought that woman down to nothing. Now, the kind of business, if, if, you, if you ask me, I will not do that kind of, that kind of business, if you ask me. But as, as terrible as the business looks from your perspective as an analyst, as an accountant, hey, they are making profits, they are surviving. Not because the idea of the business is tight. It's because it's an altar. The day he steps down from that place and says he's not, he's not running this business again, give that business three months. It no longer exists. What is keeping it is the altar. So my question to you, businessman, businesswoman, my question to you, uh, if you, if you sell in the market, you have tr uh, trade, trade out outlets here and there, is, is there any time on that your platform that you shut down and attend to God? Our cousins, on Friday, when it's time for prayer, it doesn't matter the business that you bring because all of their business outlets submit under the authority of the altar that they respond to. So that's the reason why sometimes they are very strong in business. It's because they have exalted the altar that they subscribe to higher, over, and above their business. But for a believer, it is difficult for him to have a routine that is going to exalt his altar much more than his business. Are you there? This, my friend, they bought equipment. You need to see, where is Smith? I think Smith, you have minister. Is Smith in this? You have minister there before. So, that fellowship is so serious that they invite Smith to come on Friday. A very, very corporate environment to come and hold worship. And you know, because the environment is corporate, the kind of people that you see come there are not, <laughs> you find the kind of people that is in the shape of the environment. And sometimes the attendance is so much that they don't know where to put people. I told him, why are you still here? Move this thing to another location. And people are looking forward to Fridays. Do you know that that man decided that, okay, once a month, let them do night vigil in that office. And corporate people will come do night vigil, they will stop it almost to the break of day, someone will sleep for one hour and from there go to work. Office. They put the name of the Lord on that office and I've seen the way God has fought for that business. It is not natural. It is not natural. And I was challenged. I'm not a businessman, but <laughs> what I saw in that outlet provoke me to study the Bible. Because if they are doing this thing and it's working, it means it was in the Bible, but we didn't see it. Then I found out that that's the same thing that happened when the ark of God was brought into the estate of Obed-Edom. The Bible says that everything that pertained to him began to prosper. Are you there? Everything that pertained to him began to prosper. So once upon a time, I now realize that if I'm going to grow in the healing anointing, the prayer I pray, the one you pray for me, and all of that, will not be enough. So, there was a need to do something even more bold, more deliberate, than what I can do, what set up an altar. The Lord gave us an instruction on how to set up that altar. And the details of that altar, I cannot share it in public. 
The thing I noticed after we began to obey what God instructed is that I feel whenever I'm ministering, it has not come on, but it will come if I pray some prayers. The hand of God. Do you know the experience of having the hand of God on your head? Do you know what I'm talking about? All right. So that's, it's under that cloud I minister now. The hand of God is upon my head. If I decide, some things are up to me now, not up to God again. If I decide that, what I want now is, I want to be knowing things about people, and I want to know it for two hours. It will, it will happen. Because the hand of God, those days, I will come with an anointing and minister, and the anointing will go down. Do you, do you understand what I'm talking about? It will diminish as you are ministering, so you need to go and fill up. I no longer have those experiences. I'm plugged into heaven. What I'm talking about here is that we need to be more intentional. Somebody says he has a, he's looking for a contract that is worth um, 57 billion naira. And he cannot set up an altar, a 24-hour altar, that will ensure that that contract passes. I know a man, are you still with me? I know a man that his name appeared in heaven. His name, not just only me. You know, like I said, in, in, in prophecy, if it's prophecy, we have a conclave of the prophetic because every prophetic word must be judged. Right? It must be judged. So that's why we have a, a conclave of prophets. We sit on that table. And then I bring, this is what I saw. Number one. If I'm the only one that saw that thing I claimed I saw, cancelled. Do you understand? Bring number two. Okay, somebody saw it. Somebody saw it. We'll take number two. Because the Bible says concerning prophecy that let one person prophesy and let others judge. It means that if it's the belly of the Holy Ghost we are speaking from, I'm not going to have a private position that is not revealed to other people. Do you understand that? You are, you are not with me. The Bible is not capable of private interpretation. That's how prophecy is. It's not, you cannot be the only one that is seeing what you are seeing in the entire body of Christ. It's, it's impossible. So I bring number three out, and there are other people that saw number three, so I mark it. So it's only these ones I've marked that I can speak publicly because they have been judged. Get that? Now, if you're going to be safe in the use of prophecy, this is how to be safe. Because prophecy has to be judged. And the people that are on the prophetic table carrying out this judgment have a very strong prophetic history. Do you understand that? When insights are coming, new insights, new revelation, new stuff like that, it, it, it is judged. So, more than one, two people on the prophetic table saw the name of a certain person appear. that that person will be the president of this country. And I had no doubt in my heart that it was true. Are you there? So people went and told the person. I was not among the people. They went and told the person. And the person did nothing about it. He did not set up an altar around that purpose of God. You know what? If you don't set up an altar around it, it is open for manipulation. I don't want to go into details because it's a sensitive matter. We cry today in Nigeria because that person did not. From the map that we have seen, we are not supposed to be in captivity at this time as a nation. But nothing was done. No altar was set up to drive that political agenda. When the sons of darkness saw that there was a gap, <laughs> they went and offered strange sacrifices. And even though once upon a time the person of which I speak was the darling of Nigeria, they were able to move that favor in another direction. Nigeria is spiritual. And the purposes of God that lock in the nation can only be realized by spiritual people. So I'm going to end at
this point. Hallelujah. Okay, maybe, I don't know if it's God's will for us to stay here for today and maybe continue um, tomorrow on the subject of interest. But we weep today because a man refused to rise. The fact that he's captured in the purpose of God does not mean that our partnership in terms of priesthood is not required for the purpose of God to come to pass. Listen to me. God's purposes must come to pass. It is only God's men that can change. Now I know that purpose will yet come to pass, but it will no longer be through that man. If you know that you are dispensable, are you there? That purposes can still come to pass without you. If you know that you are dispensable, then you'll become very intentional about your altar. Your altar is a sign that you are ready to fulfill destiny. If a 24-hour prayer watch for six months was set up, it doesn't matter which deity and which siren was sacrificed to. Yes, we'll see the efforts of their priesthood, but it will be insufficient to win the day. Please help me tell your neighbor, please don't attempt destiny. Finish. Finish destiny. Paul did not say that I attempted my calling. He did not say that I tried. He said, I have finished my course. Tell your neighbor again, the one, the one on the other side, don't attempt destiny. Finish it. So eventually what the person did at the end of the day was that it was an attempt. He just attempted. He just attempted. And that window was manipulated again. Even though the time of our wilderness journey as a nation was measured in the balances and the end of it was decreed. We were turned again into the desert. And now our borders are besieged. I found a scripture for us for the evening. No, let me keep it. Since we're already climbing to seven o'clock, can we take a moment and just pray? We'll take a moment. We'll, we'll continue tomorrow. And then we'll go into the subject of emphasis as prescribed by the caption above. Oh, we would have been basking in glory by now. The seasons of actualization as a nation would have been upon us. The true potential of the Igbo nation would have started speaking. The true potential of the Tiv nation. At this time, we should, have been, we should be taking mineral audit, mineral deposits audit. And how foreign investments can come into our corridors to take advantage of the vast islands of of mineral deposits. The God of heaven that created Nigeria never intended that any citizen of this country would be poor. And I speak just from my knowledge of our capacity and our potential from the perspective of the oil industry. Never intended that any poor man will walk this ground. But when you bring altars and the conclave of witches are the determinant factors, then princes will walk on foot and servants will ride on horseback. Can we say no to the abomination in the spirit? Maybe princes are walking on foot in your family. Maybe servants are riding on horseback using the blood of men to drink wine. You can come against it. You can come against it right now. He said, if my people that are called by my name who humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways I will hear from heaven I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land it is only his people that can determine what will happen when the conclave of wizards determines what happens it is either God does not have a people all his people have refused to transact by their altars. If my people, if my people, if my people, Ranto Selimande Gabosa, Rokeba Mi Sekedianto, 
Rusketa mande kiria bama matala. Yale boria skitobre bambo la suke brabena kantelia. Isko brekete la sumantala babonde ramina kusketa brende keri asamantala babonde kabasila. Rai kope mina soke romanis romanis sali komba mahaila rakampe sosela. La priata bonsa nika santa babonde la ais copila nemina ali ababa ba ya In my people God is saying what 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 exactly are my people saying what are my people saying because it depends upon my people it depends upon my people it depends upon you it depends upon me is there an idol in your family that has been activated the conclave of witches the conclave of wizards they have activated it and demons of darkness are coming to plunder that family death visits again and again he said if my people if my people if my people that are called by my name Eso se la mina gadi hai. Robe na kanske to mina kadia. Like o semina santa babon se elegeria. Los que tan se li copanda la babonda elaya. Ante so benate. Brahas que ton de kendeli. Abrame na kuse bandelia. Robe man sanda. Robe man sika banda. Robe man sakatalia. Ela baba boko se malia. Panseliko Santoria, Eska Branta Basika Branta Baboko Dale, Laiko Sepan Sebriata Babonde Catela, Abrama Santa Branta Baboka Bande, Ayakonse, Ika Bramenala, Robin and Santeria, Rakos Ketopre, Rakos Cata Bandeli, Rakos Semina Itala, Rako Pantelia, Bosquetali, Bosque San Sala, Bosque Se Lacabo, Roque Masaleta, Abraita Gomelite. A bright and gome light, seven and ten do come lama. Raka Santelia breka bone, raka bo samena. Ay kabande kusila, ay kabrema natalata. If my people raka semina ato, ekoskete branda babone, ya kabenda babole bakadia, eska baranda branda baboske. Lamena sua, lamena kanda, lamena sante, lamena kote bandolo. Raba Santa branda babalaya. Eka basketa blanda babo lakadi, seme nakadi a blanda baba lakanda, raka banda babo ni bakadi, raka banda basanda, raka banda babo lakadi, banda blanda balakaya, blanda bakone balakadi, eka banda la babo ko basaya, eka blanda bayada balata, aka banda babo la bakadi a blanda babo la. Ya la babo saka tadi, lendo baskan de blanda babo lakada, raka bendo koske tami nakadi, blanda baya. Rata baya, gata bonde gasame, abresko de blanda babola kadia, abahanda babose, aleto ma, aleta kola, aleta kande ma, agaba kabala, ageto banda ma, agaba lata ma, aleto sele baya. Abresko ta mante kabola bata, raka basanda baboria, ela broske ta bena kadia, eska blanda basanda, ela balata blanda babola ta, agabanda babola ta blanda babola. Ayadora, Alebasanda, Ayadola, 
Ramosa Belaita, Manta Kobelasi. In the name of Jesus. Remember, when you set up any altar, remember, the altar becomes powerful the moment the supervising spirit of the altar comes and begins to give you instruction. There's nothing as powerful as following the instructions of your supervising spirit. In fact, the altar is not in force until feedback starts coming. You can say, for the next six months, all the profits that will be made from the business should be channeled here. Then you'll be waiting for you to obey. The one that tends to the priest must recognize the authority of his supervising spirit. If you are not ready to recognize his authority, you are not ready for priesthood. You, are still, you still want to be manipulated. You want your destiny to be controlled. We left that, that league. We left it long time ago. So I need to ask you a question. When last did God instruct you, give this amount away? When last? When last? Your sacrifices in terms of prayer, fasting, and all of that is to pull God close and then to make his own demand. You see, the sacrifices you're offering, you predetermined what you wanted to offer. But when your supervising spirit comes, he, he requests of you. He requests of you. There is no way you'll be on the same level with the tide of the meltdown, the tide of the inflation if you are obeying the voice of your supervising spirit. Sometimes they will give you strange instructions. They can tell you, look for two widows, adopt one of their children, and see them through school. One, one each. As you are doing that, you will just discover that the business will be working. That was the wisdom. And there is no way you can use your mathematical brain to come about the instructions that the, your supervising spirit would have given you. So what I'm saying to you tonight is this. If you, are, if you are sincere in your heart and you start running that prayer using business time, watch out. He will come and speak to you. He will come. He will show you what to do. When we come into the lecture tomorrow, I'm going to show you this principle in a more robust perspective. God is aware of the famine before it comes. And everyone in the Bible that contended with famine, there was a divine instruction that God gave. And each instruction was unique to the famine experience. Each is. And we pray today. I say, Lord, open my ears and reveal your strategy to me. Open my ears and reveal your strategy. Most times we don't stay long in prayer. We don't stay long. You are not desperate enough. There is a strategy that God has for you. There is a strategy. There is a strategy. Open my ears. I need to know your strategy. Don't just sit down because if you sit down, this famine will deal with you. The famine will wreck you. There is a strategy. There is a strategy. It will reveal the secret to you. And if you are foolish enough to obey that secret, if you are foolish enough to obey that secret, the strategy, the strategy, as foolish as it is, will be the reason why the hand of God will rest upon you. There is a strategy. Ayla mo sa mahalata, esko pa mahiso sa la elebandel. Lai kompreske ta bonda ala boko tama, rakasanta ba boke ta esko pa ni. Jamena i kompende, jamena i komparata. Abraman santa branda ba bola kada balatania. Ebramante braga ba sobria la ba bonda. Ayaba ayata, 
Bayabayata, Yela Bantoma, Yela Banso Balata, Yela Bansabena, Ipo Balasota Bala, Abrata Babose Malia, Abatala Babori Mascata, Aye Mamana, Aye Mamana Santelia, Abrava Santa, Abrava Bata Blanda Babolata, Aya Bata Babo Santa, Aya Basanta Blanda Babolata, Aya Basta Catalia, Aya Basanta La Baboria, Iga Bande La Vina, Iga Balanta Blanda Babolata, Aya Basanta Babori Bacadia, Semina Laiko Baluata, Abaca Basanta, Abres Copela, there is always a strategy. Romania Sika Batora, La Hasket Ombre, Copela, Seminaico, Rande Casalabata, Endereco Sabe, Endereco Sabe, Raka Botala, Raka Basala Babone, Amakaito Combella, Abresco Balato, Abresco Barabalate, Abresca Levo Coria, Abrata Basso Penata, Abrata Balata Babola, Abrata Basabia, Abrata Babolacqua, Abrata Babolacqua, Seminaita Bala, Abrata Salababoria, Ebrata Basata. Abrata balata babola balata, abrata basa menaka di abrata babolata. Isa kababora. In the name of Jesus, there is a strategy. There is a strategy. I went on a personal retreat 